Hello, good morning everyone. Happy Monday. Hope everyone had a nice weekend and got to enjoy some sunshine. My name is Kyleen Stevener. Um, I'm going to give you an updated list of resources available in the community. And um, I wanted to start with an update or review of the food resources available. Um, I know this is kind of a, a need that I've been hearing is prevalent in the community, so I will go over those resources. And if you have any questions, again, or are looking for a specific area, please reach out to me directly. Um, it's been great. I've had people reach out looking for Boonville area or certain um, other locations, so please reach out and I'll get you that information as well. So Johnson Park is doing um, their food pantry today, May 4th, um, tomorrow, May 5th, and Wednesday, May 6th, from three to six. And they are telling people, if you lost your job um, or have had reduced hours, or for any other reason are in need of food, you can utilize their services. Um, and that's located at 1404 West Street. Again, that's today, tomorrow, and Wednesday from three to six. Uh, their next drive-through giveaway will be on May 11th and then again on May 18th from 2 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. The Rescue Mission Food Pantry remains open in Utica at 1013 West Street. Um, they are providing pre-made food boxes to people on Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 9 to 11.30 and then again 1 to 3. Um, the Salvation Army is offering food boxes, drive through or walk up to folks in need, and that's open Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, they are asking that you call to pre-schedule a, a pickup time. So you can reach them at 315-724-8736. And the Hope House continues to serve hot lunches from 12 to 1 at the back of the Hope House location. The Food Bank of Central New York um, is also available. They are asking that if you are in need of food assistance um, or have any additional questions, you can always reach out to them. That's the Food Bank of Central New York and you can reach them at 315-437-1899. And I did want to mention that following the announcement of extended school closures, um, the Utica City School District is continuing to provide the grab and go breakfast and lunch meals for students and that is Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. at each of the school buildings. The Rome Rescue Mission continues to do their food, um, free food delivery, and they do note that anyone in need of a meal is welcome at any of these locations. Um, they have updated their times and locations that they are delivering, so I will review those quickly, but I'll also post in the comment section of this um, so you can take a further look at that. So the South Rome Senior Center is, um, the delivery is from 12 to 1220. The 400 block of Ann Street is from 1230 to 1250. Freedom Plaza is 1255 to 115. The Valentine Apartments is from 120 to 140. Liberty Gardens is from 150 to 210. The Georgian Arm Apartments is 220 to 240. The Rome Mall Apartments is being delivered at 245 to 305. Um, Shady Glen Mobile Home Park is from 340 to 4 o'clock. And Park Drive Manor is from 410 to 430. The Colonial One and Two Apartments and then Pine Haven Mobile Home Park are being delivered in bulk. Um, so you can contact them directly to find out that delivery schedule. Catholic Charities Food Pantry in Rome is open from 9.30 to 11.30, and again from 1 to 3, but they are closed on Wednesdays. Um, and again, they too are asking that you call um, ahead of time to schedule a pickup, and that number is 315-337-8600. And I did want to mention um, Food for Pets. So For Pet Sake Food Pantry, is holding a drive-through distribution of pet food for people who are um, affected financially by the pandemic. So that will be held on Tuesday, May 5th from five to seven, and that's going to be at Utica City Hall um, in the parking lot, which is located at One Kennedy Plaza in Utica. They ask if you are driving up to please wear a mask and stay in your vehicle. If you are walking um, to utilize the service, 
They just ask that you also wear a mask and then maintain that social distance. For Rome area too, I wanted to mention the um, Rome Connected Community Schools. So um, they have a Facebook page, which is great if you check that out. Um, they do encourage if you are looking for food or in need of mental health resources for yourself or for your child, um, if you have questions about unemployment or have any other needs, that you can contact them. Um, you can call or text Miranda at 315-982-2520. Um, or if you'd prefer, you can reach out to your child's counselor, their school social worker, or the building principal, um, and they can connect you with Miranda as well. Also, Oneida County Health Department, um, I know they did their face mask giveaway on Friday the 1st, but they are saying that they may have um, more masks available. So if you are in need and you want to contact them to check the availability, they ask that you do that um, at 715-369-6111 to check if they have um, availability in your specific area. Services for Veterans, um, the Clear Path for Veterans is doing their Buddy Check program. So again, um, that's to help um, combat isolation and promote mental and emotional wellness during this time of social distancing. So veterans, military members, um, or their families can call Clear Path um, at 315-687-3300, or you can email the CPV Buddy Check at clearpathforvets.com and request to speak with a member of the Buddy Check team, and they will put you in contact with somebody. The Feed Our Vets pantry distribution occurs Wednesdays at 2.45 through 5.45, and then again the third Saturdays of each month from 8 a.m. to 11, and that is located at 587 Main Street in New York Mills. And then just some hotline information I wanted to provide specifically for veterans. Um, the Military Crisis Hotline is available, and that number is 1-800-273-8255. And then the PTSD Foundation of America is also available, and that's 1-877-717-7873. Some resources for kids. Um, Oneida County is holding a Lego Builder Contest. So you can submit pictures of your Lego designs and include your name, your age, the description of your artwork, and your contact information. Um, you must be 12 years of age or under to participate. The deadline is May 14th, and then they will draw the winner on May 15th. So the first place is a $100 Walmart gift card, and then second and third place is a $50 Walmart gift card. So they're asking that you submit your photo and information to letslego at ocgov.net. The Utica Zoo is continuing to provide digital educational content um, with their Kids Academy page. So you can go to uticazoo.org slash kazoo and check that out. And then also sesamestreet.org has games and videos um, and other activities to encourage playful learning. And they also have videos um, about how to speak to your children about social distancing and masks and kind of what's going on um, in recent times. BME is hosting a Giving Tuesday Parade Pickup. So tomorrow, May 5th, from 12 to 2 um, in the BME parking lot, and that's at 8375 Seneca Turnpike. So you can drive through um, the parking lot with your trunk open and enjoy some treats. Um, they'll be giving away activity kits for kids and free mac and cheese, hot dogs, and lemonade. So if you wanna check that out, that's tomorrow the 5th from 12 to 2. I wanted to mention um, some housing laws have changed during the pandemic during these times. So for individuals who are renting. Um, so if you have questions about rent, eviction, leasing or lockout, um, Legal Services of Central New York is available to answer those questions. And um, you can call them at 1-877-777-6152. Some recovery services. Um, I encourage everyone to check out the Neighborhood Center's ARS Facebook page, the Adult Recovery Services Facebook page. They are hosting um, 
different groups and events, um, they'll post that calendar so you can check that out. And just a good way for folks who are in recovery to stay connected um, during this time. Domestic Violence Services, um, New York State has announced a 24-7 text service line that will make it easier for domestic violence victims um, to reach help. So if you are in need of assistance, you can text that number at 844-997-2121. And I did want to just review the mental health services um, available. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, and at the Neighborhood Center, we want you to know that you're not alone through this. So we encourage everybody to reach out to us, reach out to other community resources, um, and reach out to each other and check in. Um, a listening ear can, can go a long way for somebody who's struggling. So the Mobile Crisis Assessment Team is available 24-7 at 315-732-6228. The Salvation Army is offering support through their emotional and spiritual care hotline. Um, so if you need someone to talk to, you can call 844-458-4673. And then the Oneida County Mental Health Hotline is live, um, and that is available from 8.30 to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. And that is 800-678-0888. I will post all these numbers in the comment section as well, so you can use that as a reference. And then I wanted to talk about suicide prevention hotline, um, helplines, excuse me, that are available for members of the LGBTQ community. Um, so the Trans Lifeline is available and it offers support for transgender people by transgender people. So that is 1-877-565-8860. Um, SAGE LGBT Elder Care Hotline has been established and that offers peer support in local resources for older adults and that number is 1-888-843-4564. The LGBT National Hotline offers peer support and local resources for all ages um, and that number is 1-888-843-4564. And then lastly, the Trevor Project. Um, so the Trevor Lifeline is available 24 seven and that can be reached at 1-866-488-7386. And again, I'll post those numbers in the comments section as well. So I encourage everybody to follow the Neighborhood Center's Facebook page for all the live videos, um, live music, children's activities, children's baking and meditation. And um, again, please contact me directly if you need additional information or um, specific areas. My number is 315-679-1192. Um, please reach out and stay well, stay healthy, and be kind to one another. Have a great week, everyone.